Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you the new animated parameters together with the Start Auto 2. So let's first look um, at this short sequence. Let's play me through. Let's play through it and you will see, okay, it's a bit instable and we have uh, a lift up at towards the end of the shot. Okay. So in order to correct this instability in Diamond, I would select from my stabilization group the Start Out. Here I have my <coughs> settings like to do a horizontal vertical stabilization uh, or a rotation. So let's do just the standard stabilization. And as we do this, and let's do it side by side side by side. So here you see the original and here you see the stabilized version. So as you can see stabilization is much better and at the end this will lift up is fixed as well. So let's switch over to the animation timeline now and you will see the the histogram of the stabilization for the X and Y parameter for the vertical and horizontal stabilization. And as you can see here in the Y stabilization, here you clearly see what it was doing to stabilize in this frame. So it's nice to see actually how many pixels the stabilization was, but now in this version of Diamond version 12, we can even correct stabilization afterwards manually. And for this, there is a new section called post transform. It's called post transform because it's done after the stabilization. So after the stabilization, we could do a transform. So what we could do is to, we could do an individual transform of a single image. Just we can go somewhere and say, okay, if we want to move this up or down, we can just click in here. This will create the key keyframe, a key point, and actually we could either move directly here this key point up, or we can choose here in this spatial offset uh, a different offset and would correct this basically uh, manually, just this very frame. So in the stabilization mode, it's built like this, that we have a single frame animation per default. Okay, again, double click would remove a key point and we would be back to the normal. So, this was this, and so let's assume we want to correct. We, this was actually intended, this going up, so we want to undo this part. So even this is possible easily now with, with this version. So before the ramp, so we would create a key point here. And when you look at here, hover over the eye for information, we get a bit information about uh, modifiers and what, what means, so the sort of shortcuts more or less. Single click we had that's add key point, double click would remove a key point, we had this already. Um, but interesting is for the, what is in stuff outer only is, set the stabilization to the previous keyframe value. So we control and move with the right mouse. So what does this mean? For instance, I want to freeze uh, my stabilization curve to this key point. So I would go to the next frame, hold down my control key, use my right mouse button and just draw over it and it will create, now let's render this again, um, a constant offset of my last key point from 2.4 pixels. And as you can see when we play this now, here, you will see in the restored sec section here, we've kept this over here. Yeah. 
Another way how you could use it is to set every to set to undo stabilization completely. So this would be Alt key hold down and the right mouse button. So this would clear it to zero. So we have created here a zero uh, so that we have a zero offset at the end. So it's it's undoing the stabilization here completely. So actually, this is the most important. These are the most important things to know. So we can do stabilization as we did before, but additionally, we have now a post transform so that we can modify stabilization after it, based on the stabilization graph, and we have some nice functions to freeze a stabilization to a certain keyframe or to undo a stabilization so that the offset to the original would be zero. So thanks for watching this tutorial and stay safe. Bye bye.